you're looking at a smoked maple syrup corned beef. It's absolutely astounding. And by the way, if you want to see how I smoked it, I, I just, it was three hours on the smoker. I'm going to have a link to the video below of uh, from last weekend, from last week, when I, uh, when I sh where I show you how to smoke a maple syrup corned beef. Believe me, it's so much better than ordinary corned beef. But today, I'm going to take this maple syrup corned beef, the smoked maple syrup corned beef, and I'm going to make what is considered the greatest of all sandwiches, the Rubens. So first thing I'm going to do is let's just check out the flavor. This is a favorite thing for me to do. Just, just check out, do a flavor check here. Oh yeah, you see, it's got that nice reddish color in there. It's thoroughly cooked. I already checked with my uh, temper uh, beef thermometer, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm, mm, it's just outstanding. You could, you could, you could taste that caramelized maple syrup in it. Oh, now to make the Reuben sandwich, very, very thinly, cut about four or five slices, but thin, thin. It's very important. Yeah, cut them nice and thin. There we go. Very thin. Thin as you can. And by the way, when you take the uh, corned beef out of the smoker, let it sit. Be sure to let it sit for at least 20 minutes. Otherwise, it's going to be soft. It won't distribute the heat so well, and it'll be soft. You won't be able to cut it. And see, I got... Really, let's do one more slice. I'm gonna really nice, thick Rubens. All right. Now, let's go to preparing the sandwich itself with this uh, maple syrup corned beef. Just absolutely astounding. Okay, so I assume that most of you are like me and you don't own a panini press. Although, I've been cooking uh, these uh, maple syrup uh, smoked corned beefs uh, so much I think I'm going to go ahead and invest in it for to make Reuben sandwiches. So what you want to do is uh, make uh, buttered rye bread. Now this is here. Here we go. Here's the rye bread. Now this is important, and, and I don't know how with about well, with the panini press, but when you when you toast it this way, make sure you don't have thin. Don't use thin. Uh, rye bread otherwise your sandwich is going to get too soggy that's the main thing you don't want to so you just put the two pieces with the butter side up butter side up and put it in there meanwhile you take your right here in this the big pan I'm going to cook up the uh, heat up the corned beef and take about a half a cup of sauerkraut. Half a cup of sauerkraut and heat that up. Now you want to get uh, you want to get the bread toasted because obviously with the sauerkraut and with the thousand and, and I, oh, by the way I'm using Thousand Island dressing. I know they say Russian it's optional. Uh, I tend to favor, I like Thousand Island dressing, so that's what I'm going to use. Plus, I'm in Florida. It seems more like a tropical sort of thing. Although, hey, you know what? I'm not against you. I've had it with Russian dressing. So here, just flip it over. You want your... Same thing here. Heat on both sides. Check, check the toastiness. Okay, good. It's kind of toasty on that side. So what you want to do is get your either your Thousand Island dressing or your Russian dressing. There we go. Put a little bit some on each. That's good enough. All right. Let's see. 
Got to get that sauerkraut nice, nice and heated. Okay. Now, what you do is you put together your... Get a nice little pile of, of your... Approximately that it'll fit on the sandwich. You put it right there. Then... Whoop. There we go. Okay, then you take your sauerkraut, you put it right on top of of the corned beef. Then you take five slices of Swiss cheese and you place it atop of the sauerkraut. Now, I'd say five. What happens if you use four sandwiches? You'll be struck dead. That's what'll happen. So be sure you use five. I don't know. They say you're supposed to always use five. Now here's a little trick to aid in the uh, a little bit in the uh, melting process of the Swiss cheese. Just pour a little bit of water around the edges here. See that steam? That steam will help to to melt the corned beef. There we go. It looks like it's melting a little bit. Then finally, Take, see, the corned beef here, and you put it right on top of your sandwich here. Whoop. Dad. Then you take your sandwich, and you give it a little press. Like I say, it probably will work better with a panini press, but you know what? I work with what I have, and believe me, I've been making so much of this corned beef, I'm definitely going to be investing in a panini in the near future. There we go. Just let it sit there for a moment. Okay. We're ready to remove it. And the one thing left to do is oh see that that's gonna work out nice and finally last but not least here we go there's a sandwich just give it a about a 45 degree angle cut there we go and now my favorite part of this whole process eating what is considered the greatest sandwich in the history of the world. Doggy, but it's not too bad. Guess what? I've got more than enough for another sandwich. I'm going to make some for my wife and uh, her relatives as well. But, you know what? I'm convinced now. I'm definitely going to get a panini uh, maker. Make, it makes it a lot easier. But, let me see how this is. Remember, this isn't just ordinary corned beef. This is smoked maple syrup corned beef. So I've had Reuben sandwiches before. Let me try this. Mmm. Oh yeah. That corned beef makes it so outstanding. You know what? A little over a year ago, I went to a chain. Uh, I had a deal, a coupon deal on, or, or a gift card deal on a chain deli, a nationwide chain deli. And of course, I ordered their Rubens. It was, it was bad news. The, I don't know, the corned beef, I, I don't know. It didn't taste like a real meat. This is real meat. That's what makes this outstanding with that maple syrup caramelized. Oh, it's so, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely going for seconds. 
slightly less soggy second. But you know what? Uh, guess what? I, I already checked it out. The panini makers, I can get for under $30. Maybe even a lot less than that. You know, I'm the coupon king in a way. So, I'm definitely going to invest in a panini maker. But, you know what? Lacking a panini uh, press? Just do what I did. Just make sure. The thing is, especially uh, when you don't have a panini maker, make sure you don't use that thin, thin sliced rye bread. You want the, this, this is the regular, regular slice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. You know, just amazing. How do you come up with these? Who would ever have thought? I mean, I, I, I read a story about how it was uh, invented uh, about a, over a century ago at, at the Black, I think it was the Blackstone Hotel in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, now it was whipped together for a guy named, there was a poker player by the name of Ru, Ruben K or something like that. Now it's it's unknown whether it was Reuben K that made it or the the uh, the cook downstairs in the kitchen at the uh, at the Blackstone Hotel. But either way, man, thank God they put this together because this this if you never had a Reuben's before, this is it. But avoid those nation. I'm not going to mention any names, but you go to a nationwide uh, chain deli and have a Reuben sandwich, you're not going to think all that much of it. You got to have. Either go to a, a, a well-known, established deli, not necessarily a chain deli, or do like I did. And like I said, I have the video, uh, the link to the video below on how to uh, to uh, smoke uh, uh, maple syrup uh, uh, corned beef. And by the way, since I made that video, I think this is like the fourth the fourth corned beef I've smoked up. That's how much I liked it. Plus, my refrigerator right now. At all these, it's one ninety nine a pound on the point cut corned beef. So um, I'm pretty well stocked up for the next few weeks on uh, on corned beef. So you know what? Let me just enjoy it. Can you let me please? Let me just sit and enjoy by myself my Reuben sandwich. This is just so good. Definitely the king of all sandwiches. See you later. And I'm going to go back to my sandwich.